our pursuit is magical in nature. We're creating energy, we're creating light. Meryl Pataki isn't just one of the artists in this Museum of Glass exhibition. She's both the curator and co-founder of She Bends, a collective made up of female identifying neon artists celebrated here. You know, I was thinking as neon artists, you are literally creating light and you get to decide what to shed that light on. So is this something that you think about a lot? I think that that's kind of the root of neon in general, you know, I mean, calling attention to something, shedding light on something and kind of come hither vibe. So for sure, absolutely. Merrill's conceptual piece, A Modern Guilt, bathes its viewers in a golden orange glow. Everything here is just off enough to be unsettling. It's a period of evolution of my journey into motherhood and all of my anxieties around climate crisis. So repent is a call for existential change. Most of the works here may seem friendly at first glance. It is very bright and sunny. A wall full of neon watermelons may make you smile, but the artist inspired by her Palestinian heritage is calling back to a time when her state's flag was banned in the region. The watermelon stepped foot into the picture as a substitute for the Palestinian flag because of its colors. And so I really wanted to play with this idea and analogy or the juxtaposition of this very light, whimsical image with a darker history or narrative behind it. A piece called Comforter looks more like a chain link fence than a blanket. It reminds me of the evening of night. And this is Echo, a piece made with spools and spools of VHS tape, asking who has the power to own our data. Neon, a gas born in the cosmos, has been tamed, energized, and rehomed into tubes by a new group of artists with something enlightening to say. We're not just kind of making signs, it's not just neon signs. It's an art form and it's a way of being.